John Murkowski was born in Poland and immigrated to the United States in 1957. He's been involved in, in the activities of Cleveland's Polonius since his youth. Between 1962 and 1993, John led John Murkowski and his orchestra. It was only after John became president of the Alliance of Poles of America in 1992 that he gave up his first love, music, for his true love, the, uh, the Alliance. John has many other awards, most of which are in Polish, so I won't be naming them. But just know that he has a lot of them. And I'd also like to say that it was John's company that helped us put this beautiful program together for tonight, the commemorative program together. John is going to induct Helen Karpinski and Helen who is unfortunately deceased, her award will be accepted by her daughters, Diane Karpinski and Mercedes karpinski Spot. John? Thank you, thank you very much. Helen Karpinski was a self-taught woman who learned from everyone she met. On the occasion, of her 100th birthday, just as Alice Roby Resnick of the Ohio Supreme Court called Helen a trailblazer, and her life is one example after another of the truth of that title. Judge Raymond Bianca of the Housing Court, who is here with us today, said one of Helen Karpinski's many talents was connecting people of diverse backgrounds. She was a wonderful bridge, for example, between the Poles and the broader community. She helped the wider community appreciate the importance of Polish culture through, for example, her efforts to acquire the Madame Curie statue and her stewardship of the cultural gardens, where she met various ethnic groups. Helen was a proud, she was proud of her Polish roots and has been involved in a number of organizations promoting her heritage. She received the Bologna Award for her leadership in the Polish community. She helped to establish and maintain the Polish gardens at the Cleveland Culture Gardens Federation, where she had always been very active. It was this work that promote, prompted Cleveland Mayor Michael White to honor her in the city of Cleveland's first flags of the World Day in 1997. Her history has been recorded by Cleveland State University's Ethnics Women's Oral History Project. She believed strongly in the power of women and their role in changing the world. She understood politics in a way most people can. When she died in 2002, Federal District Judge Leslie Wells wrote, she opened the doors for many of us. She looked for ways to support us. She was one great lady. Helen had three daughters, Gloria Battisti, Mercedes Spots and Diane Karpinski, as well as two grandchildren and one great grandchild. It is my great honor to introduce you now to the two of her daughters, Mercedes and Diane, as they accept this induction of this amazing Polish woman into the Cleveland International Hall of Fame on behalf of their mother. Thank you.